In this video, I'm going to cover installation tips for the Integrated Starter Alternator, or ISA, for Mercedes-Benz 48-volt mild hybrid vehicles. This is not a complete procedure, but more a review of important details that, if overlooked, can damage an ISA, new or old, during the installation. Be sure to follow the most up-to-date repair information for the vehicle you are working on, and of course, have the engine at top dead center. When replacing an ISA, you'll need required special tools, the ISA installation plate, as well as the alignment toolkit. The alignment toolkit attaches to a transmission jack to assist you when lifting. A new ISA comes with an installation plate already attached. When replacing the ISA, you'll send back your plate attached to the old ISA when a core is required. I've got the ISA on my cart and I'm going to simulate some of the steps of the procedure with it removed from the vehicle. Before installing the installation tool, remove three of the ISA fasteners that will be blocked by the tool. Align the flat spot of the tool with the top of the ISA. Install the four long fasteners through the bores with the post finger tight. Then install the four shorter fasteners in the center of the insulation plate at the crank finger tight. Tighten all eight fasteners in a crisscross pattern. Refer to your repair information for the torque specification. Install the included handles to the insulation tool. Move the pinning tool into the crankshaft and lock the handle. The machined end should be fully inserted into the crankshaft. Remove the remaining ISA to crankcase fasteners. The ISA can now be removed. With the ISA on the pinning tool, you can install the working feet. These feet are used for bench work to protect the ISA electrical connections when testing or storing. Now I'm done with the old ISA, I will ship it back with the installation tool installed. This is only when a core is required by my part supplier. The new ISA will come with an installation tool pre-installed, and the tool will become mine when I'm done. All the 6mm fasteners will be pre-installed and will be ready to install on the vehicle. It is important to never take the installation tool off of an ISA when it is not installed to an engine. Doing so can cause an air gap change at the magnets permanently damaging it. With help from an assistant, install the new ISA. Load it onto the pinning tool. Unclip the electrical connector at the motor connection bracket. Move the connector to the right side of the motor connection bracket. The connector will be fed through the bell housing and the ISA control module service cover when installing. I hope these tips help next time you're removing or replacing an ISA. Don't forget to perform any adaptations or teach-in procedures for the vehicle you are working on. Thanks for watching and check out the video description for more tips on Mercedes-Benz 48 volt systems.